All will be revealed when I get them back into the computer and load them into Lightroom. Well, after quite a bit of driving, I have finally found somewhere that's allowed me to stop, which is always a tricky thing when you're driving in the highlands of Scotland because the roads are so narrow. So all you're waiting for is just a pull-in place, which I have found just there. And um, yeah, if you can see just over my left shoulder here, we've got a lovely old-fashioned uh, rail bridge, which skirts right along the side of this hill. And in the backdrop you've got all other kind of hills and you've also got quite kind of thunderous dark dark skies that are coming over as well. So I have just driven through that and it is rainy so I'm just conscious of it moving this way and we might be getting soaked anytime soon. So I'm going to quickly set up and take some shots. Probably pano, try and get it all in with the glen as well as the trees and the sun is just kind of coming nice and it's going through the archways of the actual uh, the bridge there. So I'm going to quickly set up before the rain comes and get some shots away and then keep on going up this road and see what else there is to offer. So what I'm doing, I'm moving ever so slightly around for the panel and I've set it for bracketing and a two second delay so I'm not touching that. And I'm hoping just a wee bit more sun coming in to the, the valley there just to highlight it but um, I think I'll reposition myself a wee bit further back as well and maybe get the 85mm out. I'm currently shooting with a 50mm and as I said a couple of panos bracketed all the way just to get the mo most of the dynamic range because there's quite a lot of information with the sky and the foreground being uh, you know, quite shadowy. So I've moved on to the 85 now, the 85mm. I've tried a couple of different shots um, looking through some of the young ferns that are just underneath just at our feet area here. Uh, but yeah, moving on to the 85, so that should kind of bring that bridge in that wee bit tighter to the scene. As well as pano and round, still doing the pano, still doing the three brackets, but the, the backdrop, the hills in the backdrop, hopefully just kind of compressing that a wee bit more as well, just to get a wee bit more dramatic and uh, scale to the actual uh, the landscape, which is, I mean, it's the Highlands of Scotland, so it's pretty awesome. But if you have a, if, if you don't have that kind of, you know, 50 plus, the hills in the backdrop, they drop off pretty far, so this is hopefully going to pull them in a little bit uh, and obviously to scale with the actual bridge, the railway bridge that's there as well, so hopefully it'll come together just nicely. Well, that felt. Oh God! Hold on. That was good. Glad we stopped off to get that. Um, we'll take a bit of work in post to blend them all together, all the shots. And um, there's actually people on the bridge. I think there's, there's some kind of cycling event or walkers. I'm not too sure. They seem to be going pretty, uh, scooting along there. But they've all got high vis vests on kind of ruins the shot a wee bit but I'll be able to I'll be able to crop right in and uh, clone them out uh, there's even more coming now so there's obviously something on but yeah it was really good we stop I've wanted to stop here for quite a while um but this lay-by I mean it's it's seriously seriously rocky and anytime during the winter time if there's been any snow or heavy rainfall it's um yeah, it's four-wheel drive jeep stuff that you really need to get onto here but it's it's leveled off a wee bit now there's still a couple of cars that are struggling to get out, skidding and things, so fingers crossed I'll manage to get out. But um, yeah, happy with that one and we shall continue on the road, heading up north. And I'm just going to do as what I've been doing and just hopefully avoid avoid the rain. It seems to be pretty much behind me now, there's blue sky ahead. Uh, and anything that I see, if I can pull in, pull in and um, yeah, try some, try some compositions, try some shots. Welcome to the Falls of Dockert. 
another place I've passed many a times and never stopped off to photograph. But today's the day I'm just going to stop off wherever I want and get the shots I want, hopefully. So this is a nice wee place, it's very busy, it's, uh, as you know I've said already, it is um, Monday bank holiday, so there's lots of people out and about and it's also getting into the summer months, there's a lot of tourists that visit Scotland, which is, which is lovely and they stop off in places like this to visit, because um, it is, it's, it's really quite special, it's absolutely gorgeous. All I'm doing now is wandering around trying to find a composition. I'm also getting marooned because I'm just rock hopping at the moment. Hope you can hear me over the din of the... Actually, I'll turn this way. Yeah, hopefully you can hear me over the din of the falls, which is pretty rapid right next to me. So, there's this tree yeah, and I'm thinking that's quite a nice focal subject with the bridge and the water, the falls in the backdrop. I'm just skirting around trying to see where the best uh, location to put the tripod is. I'm just trying to walk you through what I'm doing here. I've gone low again. Sorry if you can't hear me because of the the falls right behind me. But I'm doing focus stacking and I'm doing um, bracketing. Because there's the white foam of the water, the light sky and the dark rocks, it's a real dynamic width going on here. And there's, there's a lot of depth to it as well. We've got the foreground, it's all rocks and water, and you've got the background with the bridges as well. So hence why I'm focus stacking. Doing a bit of balancing to try and get the little flowers in focus with that as the backdrop. Gotta try, yeah. The rain's arrived. Pack up and head off. Uh, I'm just gonna keep on heading up north and possibly outrun the rain. But uh, yeah, I'm glad we got there, glad we got a couple of shots off. Tried a couple of different things, that random uh, balancing the camera on the bridge to try and get the flowers with the, the waterfall in the backdrop. It's a wee bit different, you know? Because as you can probably imagine, that shot has been taken millions and millions of times. But I thought with the flowers, that purple flower, on the on the bridge with the falls as a backdrop, it could be a wee bit different. Um, but tricky one to execute as well because it's so so tight, so close to where the camera was. They're pretty much literally on the on the bridge itself. So we'll see see if that came out. See if I managed to focus on the things because it was kind of a funny old angle trying to see um, through the viewfinder and. The sun wasn't great, it was kind of reflecting on the back of the, the camera as well. So using the, the live finder, you know, the actual screen at the back to focus on, that wasn't happening. So yeah, it's just a bit, bit of trial and error, but fingers crossed, managed to nail the focus. I don't know how much of a fall off in the backdrop was. Maybe it was just a bit too blurry for the, the falls to be made clear, but uh, we'll see. All will be revealed when I get them back into the computer and load them into Lightroom. Just made it into the nick of time. Got a bit, a bit wet. I'm testing out how uh, waterproof the Canon EOS M6 is. 
but that was really worthwhile stopping. Um, I really enjoy just kind of having a, a hop around the rocks and just to try out different competition comp compositions. Um, it's a bit wide, big space. There's lots going on. Um, there's lots of you know trees. There's lots of rocks. There's obviously lots of different kind of falls. The way the uh, water cascades down towards the the bridge itself. And yeah, so just trying lots of different things. Light was is not fantastic as you can probably imagine with the cloud cover coming over with the rain. Um, but yeah, yeah, it was definitely worthwhile stopping. I'm glad I got here when I did because uh, I just would have kept on going if the, the weather was like this. Um, it was it was hard work, as you know, to keep the the rain off. I was using filters. I was using um, uh, uh, the little stopper, the Lee little stopper. So. You know, you can kind of hood the lens to some extent when it's raining, but when you stick filters on, there's there's really there's no there's no escaping the fact that it's going to get water droplets on. And uh, the way the weather was coming down, it was just there's no way avoiding it, which is a shame. But managed to get some shots off, and yeah, what we're going to do now is just continue north. Hopefully, as I said before, try and um, outrun the rain. Um, but it, you know, it's pretty heavy now, so we'll see. We'll see how far north it's got. Um, but it's certainly heading that way. So if we just keep on heading up and um, see what there is to offer. After an absolute stunningly picturesque drive, I've come to Glen Lyon, Lyon, and there's deer. Oh, wow, there's absolutely deer walking through the river up there. I'll spin you around and see if you can see them. How amazing, family of deer just walking through the river up there. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, a stunning drive through uh, a glen up to the uh, Glen Lyon or Glen Leon, L-Y-O-N anyway, put it down here. Um, not sure how it's pronounced, but just absolutely picturesque. And I left you in torrential rain and I've managed to avoid it. And here we are, basking in the sun. It's absolutely glorious. It's like if anything, too bright really. But I'm not gonna complain. Stumbled across this absolutely gorgeous waterfall. I parked up, just wanted to have a wonder, and I actually heard the waterfall. So I just came down, set up, and lo and behold, family of uh, deer just waltzed through. So gorgeous, so nice. Anyway, I'm going to set up the shot here. I'm going to stay low. It's not the largest of waterfalls, but it's, there's quite a lot of different wee bits to it. The thing is, it's so, so bright, as you can probably tell. So it's going to be a tricky one. <laughs> 